What's up, guys? Um, Brian, I'm back again, finally. Uh, I guess, I don't know, it's been two weeks, I think. Uh, I didn't do new comic books last week. So, I thought I better do them today, for this week, before it's Monday and, you know, too late, or nearly too late, and whatnot. So, uh, I'm going to show off my new books for this week, and a couple of things that I got. One I got off of eBay, and one I just found, uh, so yeah, I, I got my collection from my mother's place, and uh, I've been going through um, cataloging it using uh, a program I use, uh, Collectors. Um, so, while digging through all these boxes of uh, books, I came upon something. It's, it's not a great book, it's just something that I totally don't remember buying, and uh, but it is kind of cool. So I'll show you that at the end. Um, I'm going to start off with the one book that I've read so far because I've had a busy day. Went to work, then I went to school, and to school, and just got home a little while ago. So anyways, it's uh, Amazing Spider-Man number three. Uh, this book was pretty good. I consider it's the only one I read. Uh, this cover, it's a Humberto Ramos cover, but I'll be honest, from a distance, when I first saw it sitting on the shelf, I thought maybe it was a J. Scott Campbell cover. Uh, just the black cat, I don't know, it just, it's just what I thought from a distance, you know. It deceived me, but I still like it. I still like uh, Ramos's work. Man, I don't have a cold. I'm just, uh, the fumes from welding. Stuff me up a little bit every once in a while. Um, so I'm going to continue with Marvel books. Uh, I've got the original Sins in number two. I haven't read the other one, but from my understanding is it's like this. It's some short stories. And I'll be honest, the only reason I kept this one instead of tossing it back on the shelf was that it's got a Black Knight story. And uh, I don't know if the other one does or not, but this one does. And it's got Dane on the cover. And he's, he's one of my, one of those Avengers that, uh, I mean, he was an Avenger for a long time, so he did get his time and he got his dues, but I feel like he's not, you know, like a lot of people, it's Captain America or, you know, Iron Man or Thor that is their favorite Avenger. Well, I, I, I've got to admit, Captain America is one of my favorite characters ever. Um, as far as Avengers, yeah, I, th I think, uh, well, considering, uh, let's take that back back a second it seems like everybody in the marvel universe is an avenger right now so you know you can't really swing a dead cat without hitting an avenger but anyways the black knight is is a really good character in my opinion and uh i'm glad to see he's getting a little little extra love now i've got uncanny avengers 21 i am behind on this book by like three or four issues i i just haven't gotten to read them read, reading them yet um something i need to get to because I do like the Avengers and the Uncanny Avengers. This cover, in my opinion, leaves a lot to be desired, though. Um, and actually, I do really need to get into this because this reminds me of a uh, the way they've gone and gathered people from different times. It reminds me of the Avengers Forever, which, as I've said before, is one of my favorite Avengers stories. Now we've got New Warriors number six. I haven't read it yet. Uh, I've been enjoying the series so far. I don't see any reason why this shouldn't be just as good. Um, looks like Thor's stopping in to see how the kids are doing. Um, so yeah, I occasionally hear good things about the newest run on Thor. Um, tell me what you guys like about it. I, uh, I've been thinking about getting into it. I just haven't yet. Uh, da, da, da. Next up, we have got Guardians of the Galaxy number 16. I'm a little iffy about this lad, this newest story arc um, with Venom joining the team and they're in outer space and, and whatnot. It just seems a little, I don't know, it seems a little out there. Like, um, they're not tying things together very well. And. I gotta be honest, I, this cover doesn't do anything for me. 
Next up is Deadpool vs. Carnage, issue 4, Parental Advisory, not for kids, which is exactly why I'm going to let my son have it, because he likes Deadpool. F stickers. Now we're getting into the bombshell, babes. Um, Batman 32, Joker, um, mask there over a hot chick. Superman 32, yeah. Damn, I mean, almost all the DC books have the same freaking number every month. The now this one, of the ones that came out this week, surprisingly, um, I really, really like the Flash one. This is one of my favorite ones so far. Um, I know nothing about the chick on the cover because I don't read Flash. Um, I just really, as I said before, I really like these bombshell covers. And the Aquaman one is really cool in my opinion too. Really like that one. And Catwoman. Pretty good stuff. Da -da -da. Now we're gonna move on to Solar Man of the Atom by Dynamite number three. It looks pretty cartoony, it, it at least the cover anyways. It looks uh, almost Bruce Tim esque. It looks pretty cool. Um, I really need to start reading this book. <laughs> I'm so far behind on reading books since I started working at the comic shop. Um, yeah, so working at the comic book shop has been pretty cool. Um, but it also kind of sucks because I get, we got a collection in recently and whenever they get collections in, I, I always go nose through the boxes just to see what's in there. And while I'm not a huge DC fan, I found, yesterday I found uh, uh, the, the Speedy Junkie cover, um, I think it's 85 uh, and 86 with a big old heroin syringe. And uh, yeah, I can't afford them right now, cause, but they're, these books are, I'm not exaggerating when I say that these books are fine plus plus plus. I don't like to throw near men around very much, but they're probably they're they're probably a minimum of eight and a half, probably nines. Um, they're really sharp, they're really nice. I like them a lot, although I don't have the money for them right now. So that's the part of working at a comic book store that sucks. Um, we're gonna move on now to letter forty four. I've been loving this book um, as far as science fiction stuff goes. Um, I've been really enjoying a lot of the science fiction stuff that I've been reading lately. This and uh, Black Flat, or I'm sorry, Black Science, have just been really, really, really awesome. Now we're gonna get into this book. Isn't from this week, but when we got it into the store, all the copies we got were damaged, so they were sent back, and I had to wait till some good ones came in. So Unity number eight, got to catch up on that book too. Now I've got Exo Man of War 26. And Exo Man of War 26. It doesn't say on the cover like they used to which one is the uh, variant and which one is not. But, oh, I'm sorry. This one's 25. I'm not sure. And I get these were not in my box last week, so I'm wondering if maybe 25. I'm perplexed. I don't know why both issues came out the same week. Or if maybe the other one just was misplaced. Anyway, my bad. XO Man of War 25 and XO Man of War 26. Um, so 25 is their anniversary spectacular. It has. Um, boom, 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 boom. Featuring J.G. Jones, Carrie Nord, Justin Jordan. Um, buddy Sean Chen. I really like Sean Chen's work when he did Iron Man. I think when they relaunched with uh, Volume Three, uh, that was good work. And Barry Kitson's on here. I think he did Empire, maybe Shock Rockets back in the Image time. They were really cool books. My bad. Oh, I stumbled across my Shock Rockets and uh, Empires, by the way. Well, cataloging my stuff. I gotta dig those out and reread them because they were pretty cool. I really did like Shock Rockets. Now I have uh, Shadow Man End Times issue 3 
I I'm not even sure. Uh, I don't even think I've read issue one of this. I'm gonna have to dig her out of my pile of books that I haven't read yet and find it. I'm so far behind on books right now. Um, so they threw this book, issue number one of Outcast, into my pile. It's another Robert Kirkman, so there's a shit ton of these um, on the shelves in the store I work at. So I'm going to guess there's probably a shit ton in your stores. So it's probably good for reading, but because there's so many of them, probably not going to be that valuable in a long run. But anyway... Deadly Class number six. I'm about three issues behind on this. I need to catch up. Y'all have been saying good things about it, so I need to get on board. One of my favorite comic books right now, 242. Looks like Mr. Tony is fucked up again. Looks like he's been eating some shrooms or something because all these little animals look so happy and crazy. Let's do that to you. Now, I have one more new comic book. Uh, for this week, and this is one of my favorite comic books, uh, has been for a few years now, uh, since, I don't know, 2005 or so when I started reading it, um, and it's not even, I don't know, man, it's, uh, it's awesome in my opinion, so, uh, I'll just show it to you real quick, it's The Goon, and I don't think it's numbered, it's, um, I think it's a, a one shot, one for the road. I love The Goon. It's a fun book to read. It's uh, got a lot of humor and it's silly and mixes. If this is I'm only I'm only saying this because it might be people out there that haven't read The Goon because well the fucking book doesn't come out but like every two years now seems like <laughs> honestly um I haven't seen a new issue of Goon since before I moved up here to Northern Virginia and I moved up here. A year and a half, nearly two years ago. So anyway, it's the goon. Um, so for those of you who don't know, it's uh, the goon and his buddy Frankie, and he's like a mob enforcer, and it, it's got the tone of like a '30s, uh, 1930s mob movie kind of thing, but it's got monsters and shit like that mixed in, and uh, the artwork. It, I really, really enjoy the artwork in this book. Uh, it, it looks to me like it could have been drawn with crayon, uh, you know, the way it's colored. And I, it, that appeals to me. And so, yeah, it's good stuff. I don't know if you can see this. Give you a little preview of it. Da -da. Da -da. You only get a little bit of it. So anyways. Uh, the Goon. I, I really like The Goon a lot. I've said that a couple times now. Um, so yeah, I am, I'm really looking forward to the next issue of Goon. I think, uh, you know, hopefully it'll still be on my poll list in two years from now when it comes out. <laughs> so anyway, those are my new comic books for the week. Now I got two more things to show you. Uh, one is an eBay purchase. And... Uh, I got it because you know I'm a sucker for Art Adams, and uh, it is a issue number four of Warlord of Mars, Deja Taurus, or Deja Thoris, I think. So it's the Art Adams cover, or one of the Art Adams. It's the Art Adams Virgin cover, and they, they call it the Virgin color because cover. I'm sorry, because there's no text other than Art's signature down here. Uh, I just, you know, I, I I love his work and stuff, and so I was just I don't even I didn't even know this book existed, and I was just on eBay and searching for Art Adams stuff, and you know these popped up, and so I was like, what's this? So I checked it out. Um, it sells on eBay regularly for like you know, I think as I recall, looking you know twenty bucks, fifteen, twenty bucks, but. I found a guy that sold it to me for two ninety five and shipping, you know, all together. I think I paid six bucks for shipping and the the book, so I feel like I got a steal. I really like that cover. I might uh, go searching for the rest of these books so that I can read the story because the interior art is really nice too. Um, I don't know who it is. I don't remember who it is, but 
it when I looked, it put me in mind of Frank Cho. I don't think it is his work. I'm, I'm certain it's not his work. But hold on a second. It's illustrated by Carlos Rafael, but it's really nice, clean lines. Uh, really, and it. Here, let me show you that real quick. It just this guy's work reminds me of Frank Cho, and as you know, Frank Cho is one of my, you know. One of my favorite artists as well. So let me put this thing away. So the other book, you ever actually? You know what? Give me a second. I think I have another one here that I wanted to show you too. Um, where did I put it? Where did you go, book? Ah, fudge. Oh wait. Yeah, <laughs> here it is. Okay, so two books here that I've got. I don't know where I got them. I don't know. I don't remember when I bought them. Um, the first one, I'm pretty certain that I bought it when when I was in Europe at one point because I've never seen in a state in the. I never. I I know I didn't buy this in the states. I don't know where I bought it, but it's a uh, Der Sensationale Spider Man. Uh, I think it's in German. So, anyways, this is like uh, it's reprints a bunch of different. You know, not a bunch, but you know, a couple of different Spider Man stories and it's in German so I don't remember where I bought it from and but you know I'm keeping it for my collection I'm sure uh, you know someday when I'm old and fucking got dementia I'll remember it so the, the other book is I don't know where I got this and the only reason I'm really pointing to showing it is because back in the 70s when you had the whole black exploitation thing going on Marvel was just as guilty as everybody else, and they couldn't think of anything better than to add black to the to a character's name, just to you know, who was a previously white character, and just hey, we need a black version of this guy, so they make Black Goliath. Um, so this is Black Goliath number one. I don't remember buying it. I don't think I've even read it, but it is in very nice shape. And I looked. There's only five issues of this, so I'm thinking I'm gonna find the other four issues and give it a read but like they could have given this guy a better name than that i just i don't know i just think it's lame that they couldn't come up with something better i mean you're being paid to create comic books and you can't think of a better name now black panther i get it he's a panther and panthers are black and he just happens to be a black character also oh yeah and he was in the 70s with black panther movement but neither here nor there Anyway, I I think it's a, it's a nice Bronze Age book. It's uh, I'm sure I got it pretty inexpensively. I don't remember where I got it at all, um, but it's pretty cool. And real quick, I want to uh, just give a quick shout out to Jimmy C, who in his last video I recently subbed to him. Um, and he just replied to a question I asked him about uh, a Superman book that he showed, Superman Legacy. Um, he <clears throat> just kind of quick, quick look at it, and I was like, "Is that Art Adams on that cover? Is it Art Adams?" Because sure enough, it was. So Jimmy replied, "Just yes, um, he did the cover, and Simpson did the interiors, and thanks for subbing." So Jimmy C, I see that you're fairly recent to the community too. So hey, thanks for showing your stuff, and uh, welcome to the community. And folks, that's uh, I'm gonna wrap this up, and this is like. With the exception of that, you know, four or five minute video I did a week or two ago, it's one of my shortest videos ever. So uh, get yourself some sleep or something. I don't know. Have a good night, folks.